Turner's Travels comes from Pompeii, Italy. The smouldering menace in the background is the volcano called Vesuvio, Vesuvius. And geography students know that volcanoes are great learning pullers in the curriculum because children from 8 to 18 years old learn about these natural disasters that they cause. And this was a special day for me to be here because I was here 29 years ago in April, sorry, August 1978. And I've come back with a video camera. And in behind we have the volcano of Vesuvius about 3,000 meters high. It has erupted about 30 times since AD 79, 1631 and 1944. And it's a slumbering menace. If you haven't had the invitation from Doctor Who for a spin in his TARDIS time machine, this is the next best place to come, Pompeii, because we are in a time warp. On the 24th of August, AD 79, people were going about their normal business. People were scooping food out of the stone basins in the cafes, men were washing themselves, ready to visit the brothel down the road, turn right, second left, and the gladiators were sparring for the evening games. And then, around three o'clock, there was 14 kilometers of flaming pumice stones above the volcano. The ground had shaken, and by five o'clock, there was about 25 kilometers of pumice stones raining down, crashing through people's houses, smashing the tiles, and families were huddled and dying in the embryonic position as they were being poisoned by pyroclastic flows of ash, poisonous gas, flaming pumice. They were suffocated, burnt to death. And the description was written by Pinny the Younger. He was 18 years old. He was born in 61 AD and he lived until 112 AD. Now the inferno of hell visited upon over 6,000 people living in Pompeii and nearby Herculinium. That was a Roman fishing port that was affected at midnight by mud flows which buried the town as people tried to sail away from the danger. Now, the inferno of hell visited upon the 6,000 petrified souls of the human race marks one of the most infamous eruptions on this planet. And this volcanic blanket has been lifted by archaeologists showing us houses full of mosaic floors, statues, courtyards. There's even a baker's oven down the street. And we've got streets here with great big stones and stones to stop the chariots from coming through. So I learned this as a child, like all children do around the world, Pompeii. And this is a great honour for a school teacher like me, who's got the chance to make learning about Pompeii more in thrilling than it was when I was a child of the 1960s. And through the YouTube channel Turner's Travels, children and grown-ups alike can be encouraged to visit places like this in the world. I now have now self-appointed myself as a goodwill ambassador, Turner's Travels the Playlist, to encourage people to visit hotspots like Pompeii and to look at the beautiful places in the world and where political issues and tourist phenomena are staged. And I was very pleased to buy the Blu-ray Pompeii. It was a great depiction of events. I shall go home and watch it again. And I thank everybody for tuning in to this video.